All right, so today's project is this awesome Marlin mailbox. It's, uh, it's fading out pretty good from the sun, typical for Florida. Uh, so I'm going to scuff this up and I'm going to repaint this whole entire thing, bring it back to life, make it look new again, and then put some clear coat on it to protect it from the sun for these people. And luckily, I get to drive my golf cart with my supplies to this job. So let's go. All right, so now I got it all sanded down as best as I can. Some of that clear coat's just not gonna come up. Taped off the mailbox. And now I'm gonna start painting it. Thank you. 
All right, so I think I got most of the base color down, or not necessarily the base color, but all of the color down. Hit the water with some high lace, so give it, give it the feel that it's actually flowing up. All right, so now that's all that's left is to paint the eyeballs, make those things really pop, and then throw some clear coat on it. So if I'm not mistaken, the eyeball of a marlin is typically a blue color, a couple shades of blue with the black pupil. Okay, last little detail. Boom. All right, so I thought the eyes were gonna be the last bit of highlight, but I think the top of this fin needs a little bit more highlights. I'm just laying a little lighter color blue in here and using my finger to blend it out a little bit. Okay, so it's hard to see on this side, but come over here and face the light. You can see how those highlights really pop on there. So that's pretty much it, I'm done. That was about an hour and a half worth of work. Brought this guy back to life. All right, so I'm gonna remove the masking tape and I'm gonna come back in a couple hours after this thing has a lot of time to dry and I'm gonna clear coat it with a glossy UV protectant. All right, so the last step is this gloss clear by Rust-Oleum. It's UV resistant and it's non-yellowing. It dries quick, so you gotta keep up with it because otherwise it'll leave cloudy paint marks or brush marks. So you really wanna make sure you get all those brush marks evenly painted so everything's just nice and clear. And this will hold hold up underneath the Florida sun and protect this thing for a good amount of years. So I'm gonna finish clear coating this whole entire thing and then I'll film the final product for you. All right, here's the final Marlin. Got all 
bulb is colors freshened up. I got the clear coat on there to gloss clear. It's almost three layers of clear on this thing, so it should take a long time to fade out from the sun. It's my first time painting one of these. First time, uh, second time painting on Marlin. So I was familiar with the colors. They may not be exact, but looks pretty damn good. Got a couple different shades of blue in the water to give it some depth. So anyways, thanks for watching this quick little mailbox makeover. See you later.